something like this? And what are the problems with that? Uh, that, that it's owned by a particular company and that nobody trusts that company well enough to put their money in it. Sure. And, you know, other than that, it's great. It's like, so, an, like an open source solution. Yeah. What? Like an open source solution for payment processing uh, or something yeah, that I, anyone I mean, can access. As I was arguing in the, in the thing, um, the metaphor I used was the ocean. Uh, if you put a water wheel down in the ocean, it's really hard to derive electricity because the waves go this way and that, and, and it swirls around. So if you have a channel where the water's going to a particular place, you can put it down. And so the, my, my metaphor is that governments, the walls that capital flows through, and then capitalism is figuring out where to put a water wheel down. And you, you need to have layers of stuff that you can rely on in order to be an entrepreneur. If everything is totally uncertain all the time and totally reinvented, you actually can't be an entrepreneur. You need something to push against. And uh, if you listen to Silicon Valley companies, they're always saying, we need more predictability. And since you're in the law world, I'll say, like, all of these lawsuits, we just need to know. Like, whatever the hell you want to do with patents, just tell us so we know. So they need, you need some certainty so you can push against it and make some plans and place your bets. And if everything's liquid everywhere, you can't place bets, you know. And so that's why you need government in order to actually have capitalism. And that's, the, that's exactly where the limit to the libertarian ideal comes in. So anyway, given that, so... Um, I think that the idea of having people automatically logged in with a reliable account all the time should be part of the government. I really do. I think it should have been always, and just the way money is. It's like registered other, domain names, right? Yeah. It's like if you get paid at your job and you can only use it in the company store, you, then you, you shrink the whole economy. It's bad for everybody, even for people who aren't directly part of it. Money needs to be good everywhere, and we aren't, we're not doing that on the internet right now, and that's a big problem. Not to mention that nobody can remember all the passwords for a million logins, so it's impractical to have anything but a few big stores, which is another issue. But anyway, and then the government would also guarantee the security of those things, so a lot of the fraud costs go away, so that people running the store should like it. So Steve Jobs might not like it that his customers are automatically logged into Jeff Bezos' store and vice versa, but on the other hand, they have less fraud to worry about. There's some trade-offs, and they have a bigger audience base. They have more. They suddenly have more customers. So I think, in balance, they'll go along with it. So but you, well, on the end of the day, the consumer the, wins. Sorry, do you have the, the infrastructure then that that governments uh, that the U.S. government does, or that um, uh, sort of a, an agreement amongst all governments to create an infrastructure that yeah, uh, gives would, the parameters? Exactly. The, there are a few the, different ways to yeah. implement it, and I the implementation is not that hard. I, you'd have Just to curious, your you'd have to do it. Yeah. You'd have to be a bit careful that it's robust, but it's not as hard as a lot of things that are done all the time. But anyway. Um, you do that piece. And the other thing I want is I want everybody to have a choice. So right now we have this this crazy idea that, you know, the average well-to-do person is spending like all this money where you have your you have your DSL at home and you have your 3G to, and then multiple people in the family have 3G and you spend hundreds of dollars just to connect per month at all. Which just is stupid. And what should actually happen is connection should always be free everywhere and you should pay for the content. Um, and the reason you should pay for the content is not for somebody else's benefit. If it's all like, oh, you better pay for content or you're a bad, bad boy, then nobody will ever do it. That's stupid. The only reason for anybody to ever pay for content is because other people are paying for their content. It has to be a benefit. It has to be something that you also benefit from enough that you buy into it and the golden rule applies and you're thinking, hey, this whole thing of paying for content is good for me. Only at that moment does it make sense. And so the way to get to that moment from where we are is first of all with the universal store so anybody can start a store so you don't have to get approval from somebody working for Steve Jobs just to sell your app or something, which is just unbelievably lame. And you also don't have to go into the Google thing where it's just out there and people are copying it, which is also unbelievably lame. Basically, you could just, I made something, I'm going to sell it on my terms, I can, I can give it away, I can sell it for a lot, I can sell it for a little, I can put advertising on it or not. You're basically your own self because it's capitalism and you're free to do that. Okay. And then, one by one, people can make a decision. Hey, you know what? I'm kind of, I think I have stuff to sell. I'm going to make a trade-off where I'll agree to pay for things I get, and I'm going to put my stuff up for sale, and all of a sudden my access is free. So no more 3G bills, no more Comcast bills, or whatever your, 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 your ISP is. All that, all that goes away, and you enter the content economy, and then the content economy is taxed to pay for connectivity, and yes, there'll be some bloated government bureaucracy that'll waste some money, but it won't be as bad. The, the important thing is that there'll be commerce between people so that the overall tide will start to raise. And then when our customers are making money, then they'll have money to spend on our gadgets and our services, and Silicon Valley will make more money. 
how does the tide will rise? How does so. the optimization, though, uh, in terms of where you come up in that, how does that piece fit into it? Because presumably, if everyone has stores and access and so forth, well, and they're not paying, and that's great. And I, I, I'm a firm believer I would be just heaven if I mm -hmm. only had one password and one account, and I never had to deal with this 10 million times and worry about my identity. But what about you know, in terms of when your people are using search? and certain people come up before other people and so forth and so the value of that might be different so that person's store might i mean is that still is there still a, a payment module that plugs into that that can well, then can rise you to the top the bottom or give you more preference or give you more and, and do you pay more for that for that access or what's, you mean oh how does search work in that case well yeah how do you plug search into that concept well right. um i would um Here's the thing about search. Um, as Moore's Law goes up, it should hypothetically become cheaper to run data centers. So right now, we know how, how much it costs to start a search business because it's been done to any significant degree twice, once with Google and once with Bing. The others don't really count because they never got to scale. And it's expensive. It's a it's a big thing. It's like it's not a hobby. Yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, if the co what should happen as things progress is like with everything else, the cost of doing that should go down to where there are multiple search providers. And okay. um, what this thing this thing I'm talking about, it would have the following effect. I think um, it would be a monopoly buster in that. Uh, if there are a lot of people who can sell con actually sell stuff they do online, then there's no longer just a single business, which is advertising. And now, once these people are making some money, they have some clout, and that changes everything. That'll money talks, right? And so now, instead of people who are just like, oh, rank me, rank me, Google, they'll be like, oh, you want some money? Well, what am I going to get for it? And that's really different. And then all of a sudden, there's money for competitors, and it's it's a something changes now. It, my own opinion is that this would be good for Google. Uh, because if you look at what analysts are saying about Google, it's like it's it's the best trick ever, but it's still a one-trick pony, and where's the growth potential now? And what this does is by rising the tide and making more and more commerce, it, it opens up their business model to expand. So I really think that it's good for all of Silicon Valley, including Google, but of course at first they would be pretty freaked out about it. Now the one log on, mm -hmm. is, do you see this as kind of big brother in a sense? No, no, it's exactly the opposite. What we have now is Big Brother. I mean, Facebook and Google are Big Brother. Hedge fund computers are Big Brother. Rapid but if the government's running it, we've all been to the DMV, right? So yeah, somebody but like Google, they It's are the devil profit. you know versus the one you don't. Well, I mean, they're making profit, but consumers are not. I've, I've, That's let me point. Say, I've been inside all the, most of the Silicon Valley. I haven't actually been in the, like, inside of Facebook very much, but I've been inside of Google, and I've been inside of Microsoft a lot, and I... I mean, yeah, the DMV is annoying, uh, the Pentagon's annoying, um, but you know, relatively speaking, with the government, you, you, you have more influence than you do with, with, I mean, what you want a government for, you remember I was talking about these layers? Basically, what you want the government to be is you want the government to provide the dull stuff for you to push against. I mean, in a way, government's job is to be this dull wall that you can or, you know, um, it's this dull ground you can build a house on instead of some fluid thing. I mean, it's supposed to be just sitting there and dull. So the question is, what things should be dull? And in my opinion, person-to-person -person commerce right now is dull, and it shouldn't be. It should be exciting and wealth-creating. Um, what should be dull is just access. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I'm absolutely positive there'll be a degree of corruption. I'm absolutely positive there'll be uh, waste. I'm absolutely positive there'll be incredibly boring, stupid, bureaucratic hurdles. But in a way, that's where that stuff should be. Like, I mean, um, basically, what should happen? It's just like kind of with the, the roads. You know, this is um, this is where I actually have a lot of sympathy for Al Gore because um, uh, his his dad was uh, particularly responsible for the interstate highway system, which is actually not a bad metaphor that you just want the roads to be there. And it's absolutely true that there's corruption in highway contracts like crazy. It's absolutely true that there's stupid bureaucracy. And there's a... <laughs> there's some guy with a really noisy... Uh, <laughs> this noisy thing going by and he's looking at us like, well, I can't do anything about it. <laughs> uh, Welcome so, to Stanford. So, 
Uh, so anyway, so the government will be like that guy, right? But the thing is, somebody's got to take out the trash, and that should be boring. And um, and so you want to have you want to have this thing that's just there, and yeah, it's corrupt, yeah, it's frustrating, but at least it's there, and you can drive. Aren't people worried about Google sharing information with the government? Um, for example, and what if the government has access to our credit card information? Is well, see, that a problem? well, see, this is the this is the thing that right. Well, they do. I mean, look, let's be honest. The thing the thing is. Um, Right now, what we're doing with the advertising model is we're creating, well, we're creating three kinds of spying services. We have Google, Google's basically a spying service, because if it wasn't, we could all access their servers. I mean, like, right now, you can't, like, you can't look at what the search algorithm is today, because you're just not allowed to. That's like a deep, dark secret. So, it's, it's totally Big Brother. And you might say it's a pleasant Big Brother, but the, prob the problem is it's an impoverishing Big Brother. You know, I mean, um, I th I like the Google guys. You know, I I will even say I trust them. I think they're they're decent. It's a nice collection of people. That doesn't mean that the people who inherit it in 50 years will be as nice or something. So I I, I find it troubling structurally, but I don't have any problem with well, the Google folks. I think personally, what, what uh -huh. Middle America is afraid of is, you know, the people having that information that can take you to jail, for example, or they can shut down your business or do some kind of something that the government can do, something that the FBI can do. And Google but can't do Google, that yes, way. it does. Google shut down tons of businesses. Mm -hmm. Have you tried to be? Have you tried to be a, a you know, a session musician lately? You can't because recordings have become worthless. I mean, Google's done exactly that, and in exactly the same way the Don't government. They kind would. of do it organically rather no, than No, it's a new decision. Are you kidding? It's a forceful thing. Absolutely. And in terms of privacy, look at what Facebook's been doing as well. It's so totally it's a decision about what's free and what's not, or if you like, what, what's the or what's private or what's, or what's, the what's not. So the best acquisition <laughs> like, target for the government is Google. So that would be an interesting idea. No, no, I don't want. I don't want to see Google privatized. Okay. What I want to see is I want to see or the opposite. Um, I, yeah, the I, opposite. I'm, I mean, I mean, yeah. I don't yeah. want to see them. Sorry, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to see them absorbed by the government. Um, uh, especially since, I mean, they do have a going concern. I want to see them thrive and have more business models instead of just this one. 